Okay. Now we can start. Hello. Welcome. Just had to, uh... Yeah. Make layouts. Very impromptu, but it's okay. So we are up to Phantom Hourglass. Um... The turn base is done very well in that game. Oh, like in... The Mario and Luigi series is a game, is a series that I want to play. Um, the remake of Superstar Saga I got right before the Switch was announced, and I didn't play it, but I have a copy of it. So I do. I think I have all of the games in the series from the DS onwards. I don't have the original Game Boy Advance titles, but I think all of them were remade. So. Okay, we're up to, yeah, the Phantom Hourglass. I just had to configure a new layout because classic DS, different aspect ratio, so this is a 50-50 split. Why did it... Why did it pre-fill? That's interesting. DS profile, okay. I, I guess. It just hasn't done that before, so. But no. We continue. Lankles. Uh, left hand. I'm a lefty chat. Battle? What was battle? I don't remember. Anyway. Our story begins not long ago. There was a young girl savvy to the seas and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. I don't know why I, I almost said season. <laughs> one day, one day on a top at an island, a stop at an island. I can't read right now. Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. So it's Wind Waker. They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage tracked, traced back to an ancient kingdom called Hyrule. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, a huge, ominous king appeared. Well, when I played this the first time, I hadn't played Wind Waker, so you know. He carried Princess Zelda away. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to the Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. Oh no, that, that's a great link face. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The, bro the boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. At what point do we climb a mountain? After long, hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. We climbed a tree. A beautiful and beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. I suppose the volcano thing. Birdman Island. Yeah, okay. Later, the two set out with the brave pirate crew. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. I 
this this DS doesn't have a screen protector, so you know. This should be fun. So, what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Did you guess that Tetra was really P Princess Zelda? Hey, Lankles! Are you sleeping, Swabby? I might for this. Wait, why is this not working? Uh-oh. It's on the bottom screen. I can't full screen. Alright, doesn't matter. Lankles. Lankles! I was gonna try and full screen it, but then I realized, oh wait, it's on the bottom screen. Stop messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on the lookout. Ha, <sighs> some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from the evil king? Princess Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. G -g ghosts Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King? Wait, after playing Oracle of Ages, this music sounds like the music of the gods. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one floor of the Oracle games is... There are a couple of dungeons that... It's not really... I don't even see it as music. It's kind of just bleeps. And they have some really high-pitched screeching sounds in that game. Ugh. Anyway. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds and remind them that there are rules to being pirates. I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyway. <laughs> the underwater noises are really, really bad. Yeah, no, they are. Hey look, the air feels chilly, eerie even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! That's right, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship up ahead. I mean, I was wowed by this. As someone that didn't really play 3D games that much until the Wii era, the fact that this was running on a handheld. I mean... Early DS games, there's some crust to them for sure, but I don't know. I just, if, if I look at my computer screen, right, it, it looks crusty. But when I look at my DS, I don't know, there's just something about it that's charming. It's the ghost ship. These waters really are cursed. And you call yourself a pirate, it's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Massive step up from the Game Boy. Yeah, it was. I think the one thing they could have done better for the DS was give it an analog stick though. Or the thumbstick. Because there were certain games that suffered with the D-pad from what I remember. Like Mario 64. Oh man. Mario 64 DS. As cool as the version of that game is, just because it's D-pad and not analog stick, it can be very, very hard to play. <laughs> 
Actually, I'm curious. Land calls! Save me! Am I gonna be required to use the D-pad here? Land calls! Save me, Lankos! D-pad is rarely used. Hey! Oh, yes! We're back! Hey! 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 <laughs> is, it's this, is this real? Is this reality? A few of you are awake. I don't remember this. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm Ciela. You see, I'm a fairy. I was out fluttering around, and you f and found you here. What happened? Huh? What a ghost ship! Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say that those it takes are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. Our house is up there on the beach. Come on. Okay, if this if the top screen remains dark, then I might have to just Oh, can you walk? Yeah, right, movement with the stylus. Okay, it's active now. But I think what I might do really quickly. Give me a sec. Make another layout. Classic DS. Actually, I'll just say bottom full screen. Sorry, chat. I thought I was done, but it's just I don't I don't think it's gonna be good if it's like this. Okay, so bottom screen. Blow it all the way up. It's just for the cutscenes, you know. Okay, that'll do it, and then we just get rid of this and that. Yeah, I mean, we'll stick with we'll stick with this, but then when it's uh, gone to like cinematic mode, then we'll use the other. Oh, you can flip it. Oh no, but that's opening. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Disregard. Oh man. This is gonna take some adjustment. I, can, I guess you can see the pointer at least. It asked me my handedness, but the UI is still the same, really? Okay. Ah, hello, traveler. So your name is Lankles. I am Oceus, and I live on this island. Ciela told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Lankel's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture, and no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from the ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. 
That is why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? <laughs> Young people. There is a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbour is there. You mean the guy who came to visit Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship, I remember him. I'll go with Lankles and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Lankles. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Lankles. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Lankles. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck. But be careful out there. Is this Wind Waker from Wish? Psst. Imagine judging a game by how it looks visually. It's a product of its era. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake. So many quakes lately, so many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and even I bet there are worse things to come. Well, I mean, it, it's a DS game, so it's like, that's why there's, there's a map. That there's two screens. I don't think blowing up the image on the bottom screen is going to make much sense. It's just going to look blurry and crusty. And this is representative of what I'm looking at. The screens are like equal in dimensions. But you know, to each their own. Grandpa uses his cave as his storehouse. That's done. Tap on people to speak with them. Anyway, I've just had a bit of bad luck with my garden here. That quake heaved a bunch of rocks in the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Okay. Give me money. Can you help me out there. It's not much. Just let me for your trouble. Okay. <laughs> One rupee. What's with the dirty look? Think I'm a cheapskate? Yes. Fine, here's a hot tip. Look at your map, there's a tree on that spot. Go bash it really hard. I'd recommend that you jot that down on your map before you forget it. Oh yeah, it had, it had the map scribbling thing. I remember this. No, this was cool. Because you could do, you could do this. No, this was cool. See, why couldn't Wind Waker HD have that? <laughs> Not the original. The original, understandable, but... It should have been in Wind Waker HD. Holy crap, that would have been useful. Really, any Wii U game that involves a map, that should be a, that should be a feature. Oh heavens, that quake broke the bridge again! So many quakes lately and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to get to town, fortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Okay. 
Yeah, no, this is great. Hey, Sandy. Again, I played this game once, so I don't remember it, but like... Vague recollections. Monsters, look out. It's way too dangerous, you need something to defend yourself with, we have to go back, All right? So it's, it's not completely blind. But the gameplay style is, is ringing a bell. I can't remember if we have to talk to the old man. I think now we do. Tried the path to the north, did you? Ciela, don't pretend you forgot I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes rattle the island lately, Lankles. And monsters have been closer and closer to the town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port, it's true. But that path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Did we just steal the sword? <laughs> I don't remember that. Hey! Well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friend. If only you found a sword. I can't believe they, they brought Navi back. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now how to get this door open. I remember he cracks the door by writing a number on that sign. It's a number of palm trees on the beach. Yeah. Ciela ain't no basic Navi, bitch. Ciela's great. No, I know, but like the sounds. I'm just saying. Just hearing the hay. Seven? Is it seven? I think it's seven. I'm pretty sure that the way I'm playing this is the way I had to play Mario 64 on the DS. Because of the D-pad. To some degree. Keep your hands off my thing, ass first. a sword, tap an enemy, or slide the stylus. You found a sword! Ooh, shouldn't we tell Grant? we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from these monsters. Okay, you gotta... And you actually gotta do the gesture to spin. Y yeah. Stylus to swing, tapping... And drawing lines is the key to- so... Anyway, we'll figure it out. I'll get used to it. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we had to. We can't just abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Lankles. Lankles! So you have a sword, then you know that even the best swords can be bad. If mishandled, that is, so I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. Tap a target to lock on and then close in for an attack. Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock onto enemies, use the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it.
It looks like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. Finally, we have the spin attack. Okay. This one's a little more jank. Oh, it's the size of the circle that matters. I won't be using spin attack as often. <laughs> Superb, I can teach you nothing more. You must swim on your own as you venture out among monsters. But if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. We can't wait for the bridge because the world revolves around the actions of Link. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... How long would we have to wait for the bridge to get fixed? It doesn't look like they employ modern construction. Boing! Want to do a somersault? Scribble tiny circles at the very edge of your screen. Scribble tiny circles? Very edge? I, I, yeah, I'm trying. Another. Yeah, it's a, it's a little. Not as as easy as you would think. <laughs> Wasn't kidding about the dizziness. It's also that I have big hands for, like, moving it to the edge of the screen. How? No? Oh. Okay, much more reserved than, than Ocarina of Time. I was expecting the hay. Had a screen protector that was off center so Styles would catch the left edge. Hmm, I don't think I have that problem. This doesn't appear to have a screen protector. Okay, I think it's easier just to zigzag. Okay. Zigzagging works. Me trying to draw a tiny circle at the edge? No. Just a zigzag. Way more reliable. What? It's probably a combination. A second from the left. Okay. So what? It's like two. <laughs> Why couldn't this be in Wind Waker HD? Still a little, little bit annoyed at that. Thank you. 
second and last. So it's one and three. only just got the live notification from Twitch, they really suck. Did you sign up for the Discord notifications? Wait, what? I think I may have gotten this wrong. Second from the left, right? So it's two. So it's correct. And I bet I did from the right instead. First from the right, so it's four, really. Second on, first on the left, so it's one. And then second from the right is three. Oh no, last, oh I see. Two, one, four, three. That's the combination. Yeah, Discord notifications are way more reliable and instant. It's, it notifies within a minute of the stream going live, if not less. some water. to get discord notifications to work but never could well i can manually add you to the discord notification thing Let's do it now there you go so you're part of the group that gets added added when i go live so it should appear as a badge like as if i'm replying to a message I need to be patient. Or how about I just be smart? Ha <laughs> ha. 
You know what's bothering me a little? With the heart. I mean, compared to what the other games have been lately, the hearts are in the top right. But I know there are games where it's like left or right. Don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing the voice. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it every time. Even though I want to, but I'm not gonna. We made it to the port. It's so much farther to work out, walk the one when the bridge is out. The, the heart switch sides. So what, because I'm a left-hander, it puts it on the right hand? Okay. Let's look up Lionback. I've met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. Alright, let's head to the port. Not yet. But I want the treasure. Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? You know what, let's just do this for now. Oh, uh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Look at how blurry that is. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, she were only mine. It belongs to a sea captain. Wait, it belongs to a sea captain what goes by the name of Linebeck? Is that a- is that a mistake? It belongs to a sea captain what goes by the name of Linebeck. Do- do they mean that? <laughs> they feel a soul I hear. He's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What? You're searching for Linebeck? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Linebeck has vanished to. Okay. Yeah, see, it's, I, I feel like I shouldn't do the full screen mode because it, it just gets super crusty otherwise. It's a pretty small resolution that it's going to be upscaling. Looks like a milk bar. That looks about right. Ah, new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drift in here to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment, but aren't you a tad short to be in here? Take no offense, sir. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. Looking for Linebeck? Sure, I know him. And that chair knew him recently. Linebeck just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but he... But off he went to the north of our isle. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King? Listen up, young'un. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. And that temple up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid on that place. The place that sucks the souls from all who enter. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so put it out of your mind. Can't say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this, stay out of there. Yes, yeah, steer clear, that's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? Right here on your map. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna mark that, because that's obvious. Oh, you mean I have to go to the area that I wanted to go originally, but then the, uh, the Na'vi wannabe was like, I'm sorry. I just got so salty with Na'vi, and 
Because it makes the same sound effect. And it's doing the same thing Navi does, which is stop you. I'm sure it'll calm down. I'm sure it'll just be... It'll fall into the background and be less obtrusive. It's just right now. Wasn't it this tree? Well, it's one of these trees, so hang on. Very good. Very good. <laughs> nice, nice camera work, as always. Okay. Alright, um... Let's just... Erase that. I gotta add one more, one more note. There we go. Just in case I forget. Treasure Tower opening soon. Welcome, Shopper. How can I help you? Um... Ah. Don't have a bomb bag. 80 rupees. I'll buy it. Five hundred?! Ruto crown. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing I'm preemptively buying some of this stuff, but you know what? It's fine. I just made a bunch of money, so. I, n I need a bomb bag. Heard of the fortune teller Astrid? Nope. I've heard that Astrid lives on the Isle of Ember. The ghost ship, all those who vanished, she saw it all in advance, it said. I bet she'd know what it'd take for me to find a girlfriend, yeah. I, I think I have to go through the cave instead. No, wait, but it's blocked, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, the only way forward is through here. Gotta go up and around. Don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> it's okay, I have a shield now. Lawn mowing is not as easy in this game. Aha, so this is the Temple of the Ocean King. Legend has it the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King. But the temple has fallen to ruin, and people say it ruins anyone who enters. Still, we have to find Linebeck. So let's dive right on in, Lankles. Well, look, Lankles. 
Looks like someone's skeleton. What's it doing here? You don't think. This could be Linebeck? This is really starting to creep me out. Okay. I foolishly entered this temple. In moments it drained the life out of me. So even if you clear a trap, it resets once you leave. I should have made notes on my map. But I couldn't make notes on maps that have these icons. Not allowed? The heck? Wait, did you hear something, Lankles? Hey! Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Hey! <laughs> There's someone over there. You! Kid! Over here! Kid! I'm talking to you! You came at the right time! You're lucky you found me. Lucky for me, but luckier for you. Now, help me! Oh, him? That's Linebeck. Hey! Are you listening? I said help! What is he screaming about? For some reason pleading to be saved, he sure- For someone pleading to be saved, he sure is rude. What did you say? Oh, it's that chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to what I have to say. You love Linebeck? No, Linebeck is great. I do remember. I know you're a kid and all, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here and I don't know what to do. Normally I'd free myself without any problem, but I sprained my ankle and uh, I can't move. Will you help? Sure. And you'd come through for me, kid. Well then. Do something about these pointy spikes. There's got to be a way to disarm the trap around here. Fine, Linebeck, just wait. Wait there. Let's help him out, Lankles. Oh, hey, wait a second. There's something I forgot to tell you. One thing you should know about this temple, it'll suck the life right out of you. Why didn't you tell us that sooner? That's pretty important, you know. Let me finish. Don't go running away yet. I know it's scary, but it's not like the temple will suck the life out of you all the time. I'm not sure why, but as long as you stand on areas like this, you'll be okay. Show me the map. See all those purple spaces? They're probably safe zones. Were you listening? Keep your strength up, kid. Don't be shy about breaking pots. Now, get me out of here. Yeah, like that. Are you kidding me? That little boy did it. Okay, I'm taking that as my cue to get out of here. Freedom! Just bails. Nothing is here. Oh no, it's empty. I wonder if someone got to it before us. Lineback. You thieving bastard. Whew! I think we can take a quick breather. Hey. You said you sprained your ankle. You're walking just fine. You said you needed our help. Bah, it's not like you're the one who did the saving. Hey, kid. You're pretty brave for someone so short. I mean, not as brave as me, but not too shabby. So your name is Lankles, huh? That's a weird name. 
The name's Linebeck. I'm a real man of the sea. Impressive, huh? It was smooth sailing for me in the beginning. But then I got myself stuck in that trap. This place will suck the life out of you if you let it. Blasted temple. What are you doing in a place like this anyway? And what do you want from me, kid? What? You're looking for the ghost ship? So you're trying to get your mitts on the treasure? Treasure? What are you talking about? Lankles is trying to save his friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship. We came hoping you might know more about it. Oh, really? Boo-hoo, how sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm just teasing, kid. If that's what this is about, I'm on board. I'm here looking for info about the ghost ship, too. I was just a step away, but I sprained my ankle. Otherwise, I would have explored this cursed place. Liar! I just saw you running like a rabbit. No, no you didn't. That was just an illusion. My ankle's still throbbing. Ah, oh, oh, the pain's unbearable. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the pain. Anyway, you want to know about the ghost ship? Go on without me, kid. Go grab the clue about the ghost ship. It has to be in there. We need it to find the ship. Got that? You're faking it. I think you're just scared. Not a chance. Normally I'd be leading the charge down there. But I know how much it means to Lankles. I'm letting him have the glory of saving his friend. So anyway, here, uh, take this with you, kid. I found this key around here. It might help. <laughs> Murder the liar, the adult light. Uh, hello, as a Twitch out. Okay. You know, you know what you've got to do, so get to it. Oh, and uh, good luck in there, kid. Problem, 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 problem. This is this is a hell of a first dungeon to get into. Like something that slowly drains your life. Found a sea chart. Oh boy. It must be an important clue to finding the ghost ship. You should show it to Linebeck. Hey! Wow, look at that old sea chart. I wonder if that's the clue to the ghost ship Linebeck was talking about. <laughs> I promise I'm not gonna do this all the time, but. Ugh. Why couldn't they just make it like the little the little sound of the bell that they did in Majora's Mask? That was excellent. Hey, where's where's Linebeck? Can you believe the nerve of that guy making us go in here by ourselves? Now that we've got the sea chart, I've got some words for him. Yeah, the K. 
coward. Oh ho, if it isn't the little monkey and his twinkly pal. Slow getting the goods, eh? Slow, how dare you? You were quick enough to run off, injury and all. What an insult. Uh, I was merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain worth his salt puts his ship before his own safety, I tell you. But tell me, little monkey, what did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, a map lets me at it. Bah. What's this? Some boring old sea map? Oh, now I see. It is, as we call it in the adventuring business, a treasure map. If we probe its mysteries, we can find the very prize I'm seeking. The ghost ship. And by we, I mean me. Farewell, little monkey. I'm off to find adventure. Did he really just do that? He muscles in on our map, then runs off with it? What should we do next? Meet Lineback at his ship, Lankles? The one other thing is like... This is probably going to happen if, if it hasn't happened already, but I'm going to call him Lineback. I'm going to call him Lineback by accident. Because my brain will be correcting. It's like, no, you're supposed to say Lineback. That's the term, not Lineback. So th that'll probably happen at some point. If it hasn't happened already. I've probably called him line back once. And I'm not even into sports chat. I, I'm not a sports person. I'm not your average John Sportsman. Tinkerbell sure is annoying in this. <laughs> it's not It's not that bad. It's just I wish the, the sound bite was... Uh, wasn't the same, you know? And after having Maidna, I, I miss Maidna. I really do. Well, look who's gracing our presence. It's Old Man Oceus. The bridge has been thick, so I thought I'd check up on the youngsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge alive from the temple, Lankles. Very courageous for one so early in his years. You sent me into that temp treacherous temple too, you old barnacle. Any who enter the temple unprepared will find it a terrifying ordeal. And most would lose heart and flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently there are true heroes among us. Preen my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous, all right. Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You'd be sunk now by a young if a young friend hadn't shown up. Jeez, I can't read today. <laughs> I was injured. On a typical day, I blazed through one or two such temples before breakfast. Calm yourself, Lineback. And tell me what you've made of the temple's map. I've inspected it fully. My trained eye finds that it holds no secrets at all. But wait, old man. What do you know of this map? Ah, how? Has the map's puzzle eluded you, Lineback? If I may see the map. Hmm. Drinking water. <laughs> A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? This is no standard map. You'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it. Trust you can solve the puzzle. What the heck? Oh, it's like a coin scratch thing. Hey, look at that. Secret. That marks the spot of an isle born of volcanic strife. It is the Isle of Ember. A fortune teller named Astrid lives there, and she sees far ankles. So you should ask Astrid if she can find where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, eh? I always suspected there might be something there. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid. So we're off to the Isle of Ember then. CLI, I'd like you to go with Lankles. You'll be essential to his efforts, I'm sure. 
And by seeing the outside world, you just might find your lost memories. Will do, happy to help. Sorry that we have to pal around with Lineback though. Still, I'm glad to sail the seas and see the world. What? Don't tell me that I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff too? Bah, fine then. Okay, the Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail, Lankles? Yes. Then climb aboard, the open sea calls. It's off to the open sea with us, son. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Draw a line and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. I mean, come on, this is a, this is a convenience. Like, if Wind Waker played like this... Oh, almost forgot. See the engine on the right? Tap stop to stop, and to resume course, tap go. While at sea, if you want to look around the sea, touch the screen's edge. Stay alert! Touch up, down, left, and right to look in all directions. I mean, this is just an improvement on the sailing system. Oh, the frogs. I remember the frogs. I forget what I have to do with the frogs, but I do remember the frogs. <laughs> but see, this is nice because I can set course and then I can have a drink of water. And I don't have to worry that I'm gonna... ...crash. <laughs> it's okay. They, 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 they dealt with it. They dealt with it. It's fine. Welcome to the Isle of Ember. This must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa was talking about. We're here. A sterling example of my helmsmanship, impressed Lankles. What? You didn't even know where the island was. Who sketched our course on the sea chart? Yeah, Lankles did. What? You piece of fluff, you just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, Lankles? Sure. There's a sensible lad, see, Lankles gets it. And as captain, I shall assign our little adventure monkey as a task. Or oh, a task. As a task? A task. <laughs> Go find Astrid, Lankles. Meanwhile, I'll be waiting here, attending to the needs of my fine vessel. What's staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me? This is scared? I'm never scared, you fluttering shrimp. You go ahead, I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. So I've been watching One Piece, um, because I, I never watched it. And my brother got me into it now, so I've been watching that. And this lineback is pretty much like Usopp. Just a dude that just talks shit. But I guess at least Usopp, like, is useful. I don't know. I can't remember Lineback doing much. Other than comedic value. Which I appreciate. But maybe he'll have his moment. Practicing the rolling as well. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, it would most likely be in a house that looks very fortune teller like. That seems about right. She's not here. Do 
know I have a shield, and honestly, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Maybe it's automated. Hang on, Lankles. I feel a presence on the other side of this door. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But this door looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay, call out to something now, loud and clear. I have to use the microphone, this is for real. Hey! <laughs> I should have just done the HALT! Who's there? Someone heard you, you did it, Lankles. But are the monsters gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out, out here. Who are you? The fortune teller Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. I can't open this door from the inside. I don't know who you are, but would you open it? Thank you, and good luck. This will be tricky. Do you see the map hanging beside the door? That map is somehow a key to opening the door. Unfortunately, my only assistant, Kayo, knows the secret of it. Okay. Got it. So we have to find... Maybe it's just Kayo to learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out as soon as possible. Mark the locations of the map of the three island torches. Okay. We just have to, uh, find them. I keep going to use the analog stick, but it does nothing. You could get away with just rubbing the microphone and not doing anything. Apparently can't pull it. Hmm. Okay. The icon didn't come up, so... If you're reading my words, it means I have fallen to my fate. So, look east to pick up the torch and take up my duty. This is Kaio's journal. Looks like he traveled to the east side of the island. Let's go that way too. Kaio. Kaio. <laughs> Kaio. Kaio or Kaio? Probably Kaio. I just want to cut some more grass. Oh, already, we already got electric stuff, okay. Excuse me, did that crow just rob me? Where's my pity health? I require health. All an adventure, look, Lankles. Brute force will get you nowhere. Ah, it's a ghost. 
Get him, Lankles. Oh, wait. G give me some warning before you come at me. I must really... Look really bad, I but I swear, I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't even look like an evil ghost. My name is Keo, I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh, just look what's become of you, you poor thing. If you believe in fate, then it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Of graver concern, though, is what happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw Astrid. She asked us to open the door that locks her in. What? Miss Astrid is so... Miss Astrid is alright? Well, then please open the door for me. I'll tell you a secret. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. With that in mind, you should be able to open the door. One torch is right there. Open up your map. Okay. Please take care of Astrid. The other torch is in this house. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit afraid here. <laughs> the game has not been nice. Where are my pity hearts? Imagine the other torches here. Okay, the other torches here. Oh shit. I didn't mean to swipe, I was trying to go back. It's okay. Uh, that, so another one here, and another one in his house, which is here. I just, I just want to get back. Oh, no. So it looks like the shield is automatic, to some degree. Let's just double check, it is here, right? Yeah, it's here. Oh, it's just... No, sh sh I thought you had to draw. Let's just tap. I have touched the right places. Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me, so... You are no ordinary travelers. May I ask of your names? Of course. Lankles. It evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now tell me, what brought you to our island? A ship. <laughs> Vacation. Uh. You kind of forgotten your purpose for coming to our island. Hasn't something important brought you here? A ship. Lankles is looking for a his friend, who was taken by the ghost ship. Astrid, we were hoping that you might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. That's why I was hidden away, to escape its ruinous reach. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Chaos since then. 
Astrid, about that, well... Kao, he's... I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. Well, life has little use for mourning, so Kao thought. Shall I tell your fortune? <laughs> sure. Please wait for me upstairs. If any others are with you, please bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourselves and I will join you after I make preparations. Confound it! You'd think someone who sees the future would be on time. Where's Astrid? Let's get our fortunes told and be done with it. Greetings. Now, if everyone is here, we can begin. Open my eyes to the future, a sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. If you really want to find the ghost ship, Lankles, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? Yes. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Now make haste to the Temple of Fire on the summit of this island. There you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have it within you to alter the doomed course of events, Langles. But the light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please hurry. Power of darkness, huh? Hey, kid. I, uh, I just remembered I, uh, I have to go polish the, uh, ship's rudder. Later, kid. Sheesh! What's with Lionbeck? Ah, uh, let's just let him be and hurry to the temple. He needs to go polish his rudder. I don't know. I don't know. It's relatable. Who among us has not polished their rudder? Okay, we can reach the fire temple at the peak through here. Tap on the door to open it. Look, the volcano is erupting. Watch out for falling rocks. I may have just gone the long way. We'll see. That must be the temple, but the entrance is sealed. Why is this tile different? No, I think it's just shadow. It's just lighting. Blow out the flames to illuminate the path ahead. Am I really going to bl I'm not going to blow into the microphone. Where is the mic- where is this microphone located? <laughs> I'm going to rub the microphone. I suppose I could just mute myself, but I don't know. Where's Mike? Where's the microphone located on this thing?
It's just looking for sound. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Where is it? I should just get like an air horn or something. Um... Okay, apparently it's located... Hang on, where is it? It's in a small hole under the start button. Okay, chat, give, give, me, give me two seconds. Okay, sorry, I was just seeing where it was located, so, let's see. Apparently it's under the start button, so, all I have to do is blow into the microphone, and then we got it. Okay, that, that's me blowing into the microphone. Halt! We can enter the temple, we did it, Lankles. Let's go face up to that power of darkness. Okay. Ah, so hot. Oh no, there are flames everywhere. You better not touch them. Don't go burn yourself. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> am I am I going to commit to the bit? That's that's the question. Doesn't blow it out. <laughs> okay. It's fine. <laughs> Don't make haste, make no one safe path. What are we looking at? Top, top. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Hmm, wonder what that means. Let's make a note of it. I did! I did. Okay, so I can't blow the flames out, but that's fine. Oh, it's still... I think it'll, it'll wear off, that's fine. Okay, safe path.
I mean, I didn't have to draw it <laughs> by the looks of it. Just walking reveals it. These dungeons are pretty short, but I do remember the game being pretty short in general. Okay. You know how to throw it? First tap the item icon, then equip. Draw a line. Yeah. Give it a try. Boomerang's pretty fun. Does this work? Hang on. If I was to... No. Apparently blowing into the microphone doesn't work, chat. No, it has to work. Hang on. Maybe I'm just not doing it correctly. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it worked outside. No treasure chest on this floor. Oh, what? Let's just if I want to go back. There we go. Boomerang combat's pretty much that. Boing! The number of treasure chests here is one. 
No thanks. I'll find it. Probably just kill all the enemies. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't hit. Sometimes it's hard it's hard to control this. Okay, this is all I wanna do, just like a loop. Maybe I need to be further back. There. <laughs> yes! They no need to be tactful. Sense a problem. I'm just thinking, boss key? Do they exist? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Flip quick as you can, flip the four switches in order. Okay. Uh, one, two, Let's just do that. One. Two. Jeez, so hard. Three. And four. Alright. Help! Oh! <laughs> please, please tell me it's eventually going to stop after this dungeon. It's just... No need to interrupt. Oh, goody. Okay, chat, hang on it. I need to blow into the microphone. SMR stream. Come on, I'm, I'm like, I've got a comedy prop just to avoid having to actually blow into the microphone. Genius. <laughs> no. I'll figure it out myself. What's this? It looks ominous. There is a boss key.
Oh, this is this does not play it well. Wait, I can make it a fire boomerang if I aim it at fire? Okay, so that's- that's cool. Excellent. It's alright, I'm fine. When all three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. Okay. not jumping. Wonder what that gas bill is with all these fire pits. I mean, these days, probably just more than it's worth. They probably have to sublet it. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Unless I don't have to go across there. Ah. Duh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could jump that gap. Boss key! Must carry it. I must carry that weight. Temple protects the spirit of power. Ow! I can feel an evil presence lingering at the top of these stairs. Be careful, okay? Oh, you know, I probably should have read. Ow, oh, we'll, be, we'll be fine. Wait, I can go back. What does this say? Step into the blue light to return to the entrance. Oh, no, I need to remember to do this. Because this will quick travel. Yep. Definitely need to remember to do that. Blaze, Master of Fire. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not even sure if I'm <laughs> doing damage here. I'm going to assume I am. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the targeting. There's a symbol. Yeah, that's just, I just feel like making a full screen just, it's not great, <laughs> but I'll do it for now. I am Leaf, the spirit of power. I serve the Ocean King. I owe you thanks for defeating that evil wizard. You broke the seal, so now I'm free. Look, Lankles. It's the spirit of power, Leaf. This must be what Astrid was talking about. Please, help us. We need your strength. I was locked away with the Ocean King years ago, but now I can't feel the Ocean King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. If I come with you, maybe I can find out. If you need it, I will gladly lend a hand. The spirit of power leaf has joined your group. You should tell Astrid. I like how in <laughs> this one, it's a treasure chest, so it's like, oh. Just to make sure you don't forget. The volcano has stopped around thing, Langles. I bet it's because you defeated all the monsters. Come on, let's sell Astrid. Just want to make sure there's nothing else to do here. Just be absolutely certain before we go. I think we're okay. There is an island over there, but I can't get to it yet. Hey, kid. 
So you're able to defeat all the monsters. Well, Astrid is waiting. Well done, you defeated the Power of Darkness, Ankles. Bus, you've broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit. You need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need power, wisdom, and courage. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at present. I see another clue for you to find in the temple of the Ocean King on Mackay. And to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Okay. That's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that somewhere on the seas you can raise a spirit's power for ten gems. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. Oh, you actually did it. Now we're even closer to getting rich, Lankles. Hoo-ha, I'm excited. Ugh, he's so self-centered. Well, I sense that man will prove to be an asset and not an anchor in time. I hope you're right. Okay, let's quickly set sail back to Mercay Island. Lankles. Hey, break your pot. What's taking so long? I was about to leave here, Lankles. What, Linebeck? What are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you suspect that light that needs finding is a really shiny treasure? I really don't think so. Anyway, let's head back to Mecca Island, okay? Hmm, haven't forgotten anything, have you? Okay, let's be off. And now we relax. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm supposed to turn the camera off so it's cinematic for everyone, but... There we go. I just noticed the ship has help too. Okay, hang on. Stop here. What does this what does this frog mean? Where'd it go? Head it over to that island over there. There's no manual control, so let's just go. I'll worry about this frog thing later. <laughs> it's not like it's, it's that hidden anyway. It's it's obvious. Got about this map. Uh, that's funny. Imagine we have to go see the old man first. There's the bridge, all from fix. Oh, the old man isn't here, huh?
that's 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 the dude that wants uh girlfriend. Where's the old man? False to take a guess. Hey, wait. Wait. If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Hey, you know, uh, I mean... If you say you want to go it alone, then who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to pull all the work again on Lankles? If you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, kid. The temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for, uh, kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not exactly true. What? Grandpa. I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You are strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you will be fine. Wankles. Get up on that altar. <laughs> Do the blood ritual. They're gonna name drop the title. Now, Lankles, take the hourglass. got the phantom hourglass. It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. You now hold the legendary phantom hourglass, Lankles. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain the life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, we can search for clues for the spirit. Ahem, however... You are only safe as long as sand remains in the top of the phantom hourglass. When the sand has drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. It's an hourglass, can't you just flip it over again? No. Once the sand of hours has drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the Sand of Hours. The beast you defeated in the Temple of Fire held some grains in it. It is said to be made of force gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must, you must defeat monsters and collect their Sands of Hours. For the more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in this temple showed where to find the captured spirit. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits, hmm. I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in this temple. I just know it. I won't stop you, Lankles. Dive deeper into this mystery, but keep the Phantom Hourglass in hand. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred light was fading? We've got to hurry, Lankles. So, how much do you know, old man? Hmm. That long story is not yet ready to surface, but all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right, a mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, Lankles. 
Put some steam in your engines and get exploring this temple, kid. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't wait for the part where he... He's actually useful. Lankles, look at the upper left corner of the screen. This is how the Phantom Hourglass will protect you from the curse. Find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out, then escape. That's it. Without the sand, it'll start to suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye on the time you have left. This is the door of power. Use my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper to the temple. So it's, act it's like real time, 10 minutes? It is real time, 10 minutes. Oh boy. Help! It's an enemy, you know what to do. Wait, Lankles. This, the evil that cursed this temple made these monsters. Phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable and they strike very hard. Does that mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. Well, all you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. Okay. So we have to sneak around like thieves? What if we're seen? If they see you, run straight for a safe zone. By safe zone, you mean those purple spaces on the ground? Oh yeah, the sand stopped mo moving in the hourglass when we were in one. That's right, those purple tiles on the floor are safe zones. This temple's curse makes it a dangerous place, but it's not all bad. Those safe zones remain as places that evil can't get to. Okay, so if a phantom spots you, just run to a safe zone. That's easy. Right, Lankles? Uh-huh. Let's go. Don't let a phantom see you. Lighting the torches show up in the way. But how am I supposed to light them? They are very sensitive to sound. Why didn't it light on fire? Okay, it's not working. Apparently they can walk through the fire chat. Did not know that was a thing. I still can't believe that doesn't light on fire. Okay, I'll we'll go have a look somewhere else. Okay. Ooh, this is disgusting. We're gonna have to take a gamble here. here for a bit.
But I don't think there's anything I can do there. Break a red pot to spill its magical content on the floor. Interesting. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're in the safe zone. Nothing to hear. Though admittedly, I probably should have taken a pot with me, but it's fine. I'm being ballsy, you better believe it. Where is the switch? I pulled the lever, so we're okay here. Probably the most useful thing I could do. So far, so good. I would imagine this is the final of the challenges. It's a little farther, uh huh. Who knew that the contents of the yellow posts restore time in the hourglass? If only I had the hourglass, things might have been different. Force gem. Take it away quietly? You found a force gem. I wonder what you're supposed to do with it. 
That Force Gem is stolen from the Ocean King by the hands of evil. You'll need the power of the Force Gem to open the door to delve deeper. So what are you supposed to do with this Force Gem? I can see it over there. There are pedestals. Place all the Force Gems and the door will open. Okay. It'll move a lot slower. Don't be a hero, they say. I got this. This is not good. <laughs> it's a one shot. Oh, I do remember this actually. I need to be more careful. trapping. Sorry, as long as I stay here, I'll, I'll be okay. Wait, there's no fog in this room. Look! The hourglass has stopped and your life force isn't being drained. This place isn't cursed yet. I think we can finally relax. The Northwestern Sea Chart. Now you can explore a new area of the sea. We got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe we can explore new areas? Let's go show in line back. Oh, 
Aber nutzt das hier. Okay, it's just if I wanna go back. Just checking. that eventually on the map. Does that ship of yours have a cannon? No. They make le sea life easier, or at least louder. Hmm, that's about all I know. I heard you can get them from a guy named Edo on an isle to the south. Hey, you actually made it back. Find a sea chart? Lionbeck, you're lucky to have us around doing all the hard work. Yes, we found a new sea chart. Hey, let me see that. Uh, it's the chart we need to sail into the... See, that's up north. We still don't know the location of the ghost ship. Well, blow me down to the ground. This chart's so dusty that I can't read it. Make yourself useful. And uh, clean it up, will you, Lankles? Oh, hey, another crest appeared. Achoo. Ah. Look, I, I mean, I knew it all along. It was hidden there. I've always had a sixth sense for such things. We aren't falling for it, Lionbeck. You didn't know that was there. Don't pretend to know what I don't know. Anyway, I bet a spirit's right there. So let's go to that island. Okay then. Once we set sail, I'll explain how we can go to the northwestern sea. Let's be off. Uh, yeah. Then climb aboard. Open sea calls. Now that we have a new sea chart, let's set course north and explore. I'll tell you what I know about how to navigate our way up there. The sea chart of the northwestern sea covers a whole area north of here. So draw a course to the top of our chart until you see the northwestern sea. After we reach it, you must draw our next leg on the northwestern sea. Me, huh? Right? Right? Okay. We'll go there, but I think I, I I will need to do some exploration of the South Sea. I think once I get the bomb bag, that's probably the right time to do it. There's probably some stuff that's low-hanging fruit, but for now... Hey, see that weird thing that just surfaced, Lankles? It's called a sea trap, and we're headed right for it! We can't attack it, so we only have one option. Jump the ship over it. Tap the jump arrow at the screen's bottom to jump. But only at the right time. Wahoo! So this is just... <laughs> so you're not, not just AFKing. It's just, yeah, just press the button every now and then. In Wind Waker, there was a jump option as well, but I never really used it for anything. It was supposed to help with steering. Ah, oh, what was that? Madness, I tell you. Well, it looks like we can't head up north that way, at least for the time being. Better try another route. What a pain.
Hard to starboard. Hard turn to starboard. Starboard. Hold up. Watch where your course is taking us. Your course is put us in the proximity of doom. Those rocks look brutal. Hmm, cannon. Okay. Let's just try going this way. Hard turn to starboard. Unless I have to go get the cannon now, which might make sense. If I get tornadoed again, that's 100% what I have to do. Yeah. Okay. It's putting me back, so, uh... Oh, what was that? Um, yeah. Okay, I guess we're headed to Bay 1. Cannon. <laughs> Cannon Island. I wonder what's on that island. I don't know. I'm stumped. I wasn't paying attention for a sec. <laughs> and then I heard the sound effect, so I had looked back at the screen. It's okay, I think the ship just takes damage. Nothing nothing major. Okay. Also think I need to check the mail. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet ya. And not like I don't want to greet ya, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not to talk your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. And your name is... Got it right here. Uh, isn't it Lankles? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, shoot me with a slingshot. Thanks for understanding. I may also need you to sign for delivery. Thanks. On that note, see you around to see you, sir. Now, it can be interpreted as one of two ways. It's like, don't do it, or do it. <laughs> Good day to you. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. Edo's garage. Oh, hello there. You must... You've come to Edo's garage. That is Master Edo's shop. I'm Fuzo, his apprentice. And you? Oh, nice to meet you, Lankles. What? You want a cannon? Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready to sell. Not yet. Master's working on one, though, so he's withdrawn to his workroom. Yep, he's gone and locked himself in there until he's done concentrating. If you really, really, really want a cannon, then go speak with the Master. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. The back door's never locked, so that's your ticket to meet the master. I'll be happy to open the gate that leads to the rest of the island. Follow me. Oh, that makes sense. Dangerous monsters around the back don't lock the door. Yep. Watch yourself, little guy. There are monsters beyond this gate. being chased by me. Treasure roll, yes! <laughs> oh, I booked that one. To read the sign, I accidentally slashed it. Close. 
Uh, that's probably not the right way. But then again... Pushing it here is not an option. This almost feels like a way out, but let's just see. I think I just need to take this further down. Okay, that's all it was. I go that way. Just a sec. Suspicion. Oh. Okay. Later. I just want to clear the pathway, so it's easy to get back up here. Okay, one sec. Just there's, there's another chamber over there. Oh, I mean, sure. Power gem. Okay, worth it. may have messed up. It's okay. Please, thank you. I kind of, yeah, <laughs> remembered. Wait, I need to go through this way. Because it's locked up otherwise. his garage. Alright, this way. Oh, crap. That's gonna be a problem. I need to pick up and... Oh, 
damn it. Nearly. I just need to throw it over the fence. Go. <laughs> How does Edo get over there then? Does Edo have to do this every time? And then just get more rubble? Yes, yes, I'm the owner of this shop. Edo, what do you want? What? You demand a cannon? Hey, you impress me. You'd brave this dangerous isle for one of my cannons. For a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. Then, know that my cannons are works of explosive art, crafted from choice parts. So, you'd better believe that you're going to cough up big rupees for one. Have the guts to hear how much? Yeah. Hey, don't blame me if you drop a load of rupees in my shop. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, guy. I'm serious. I'm gonna say it. I'm going for the steep price of 50 rupees. You big enough to pony up a whole 50? Stunned, yeah? Did you think you were dealing with small potatoes here, huh? I mean, 50 rupees would buy you a whole lot of good life on this aisle. No one could blame you if you can't pay that. What? Where'd you get 50 rupees? Doesn't matter. I guess just as long as you cough up the cash. Okay, take it. Next, I'm going to devise a salvage arm that can pull treasure from the sea floor. See you later, shrimp. Just use the door there to get back to the dock. And now it's open. Can I go talk to him now and see if we can get the sea arm right away? Hey, what's the next project? The salvage arm. Come back in the future. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot of point in exploring just yet. If we don't have the salvage. Special delivery! Watch out, incoming! This is a letter from the postmaster to you, Lankles. Ahem. Here's what it says. To Lankles. If you're getting this, I guess that my new postman is working out so far. So I'd like to make an unusual request. He's as good as a new hire gets. He's as diligent and efficient as they come. I've got no complaints. I want to keep it that way, so be nice to the postman. He really is a good kid. From the postmaster. And that's it. Wow, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but it was odd to read out loud. Anyway, sign here, will ya? Good. That wraps it up. See you later. You got a cannon? Looks like I finished my nap. Uh, rep repairs. Just, just in time. You ready to ship out, Lankles? <laughs> uh. Ah, no. I mean, probably read that letter. Doesn't want to get slingshot. I mean, it's, it's a rational fear. Now that we have a big cannon, I better show you how to handle the thing. Just tap anything you see and the cannon fires at it. Have a blast, kid. And infinite ammo, too. Wahoo! I wonder if we're breaking the law, that we're just going too fast and, you know, the sea police is uh, trying to lay down some roadblocks, but we're just jumping them. You know what, now I, I think I remember I have to shoot the frogs. The sea toads. And 
them up. And we're off! Hang on a moment, Wankles, look! <laughs> Could that be? It has surfaced at last. The ghost ship. I can't believe we're laying eyes on it. Let's follow it. Let's go get our treasure. Enemy sighted. Our turn to port! Our turn to starboard! Just a scratch, right? Our turn to port! Okay, we're out. I see, I've, I've done I've done an error. I've made error. Still I had to deal with that ship, so. We don't have the salvage thing yet, so I can't salvage the wreckage. Enemy side head. I think we lost track of it. Ah, oh, the fog is thickening. Be careful now, Lankles. This fog is maddening. I can't even see in front of my own face. Then let it escape, Lankles! If I was to take a guess, we're doing this. Just guessing. Go scuttle that blasted thing, pronto! Ah, the treasure's right in front of our noses. I can smell it. The ghost ship still haven't caught up. Hurry up, Lankles! Hey, asleep at the wheel? Hey there, wait, ghost ship! Hard turn to port! Wow, this fuck is really annoying, isn't it? Turn to starboard! Enemy sighted! This is problematic. Car turn to port! Where are you? When I need you, wind! Keep us on course, Lankos! Hurry, Lankos! What? What? The fuck? This is ridiculous. 
Uh, dude, our ship is on fire. What? What happened? We were chucking along, making headway there. Ah, uh, you think maybe... Could it be the influence of the ghost ship? Now, what did I hear about that? Oh, yeah. It's always surrounded by infernal fog. That fog leads ships horribly astray. I think it's best we... Beat a hasty retreat, Lankles. Maybe someone on the nearby islands knows his way through this fog. Yeah, now we're kind of uh, in a tough spot. Keep shooting. Oh, I can't go to the island from here. Okay, we need to retreat. Ah, oh, turn to starboard. Oh. <laughs> that was like right on the edge of the map. I didn't think it was gonna hit me. I couldn't even see it. It's okay. Oh, cool, it puts us back here. All right, well this is where we're headed. And we're off! Oof. I just made that. Assume it's this island. I think we'll be fine. That ship is not gonna notice us. Hopefully, not anyway. Oh, who's shooting us? Oh, the ship is following. <laughs> Seems to have like a much longer range than me. Okay, we've arrived on Molita Island. We can't navigate through the fog, so what are we supposed to do? We can't get to the crest location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. What do we do? Do you want to ship out? No. Then go take care of things. Okay. Well, I think this is a good uh, opening to this game. But we're going to leave it here for today. I'm going to take a small intermission chat and then we're going to continue Metroid Prime because I haven't played in a few days. So. Just let me set up for it. I need to uh, swap HDMI cables. So it'll take a couple of minutes. Get a drink, get a snack or something. But hopefully you enjoyed this opener to Phantom Hourglass. Uh, and we will continue it not tomorrow, the day after. Because I, I don't plan to stream tomorrow. 
So, that's, that's it. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube later, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye, YouTube.